Environment Impact Assessment measures environmental, social or economic aspects of projects desired to undergo for public or private stakeholders, first introduced by Richard Nixon following NEPA that whenever being recognized globally, started in India during River Valley projects during 1976-77 by the Advisory of Planning Commission to Department of Science and Technology. Environmental clearance is mandatory under Environment Protection Act 1986 levied by MEF during January 1994 that reintroduced measures for decentralization of power to the state government in 2006 for any newer project or modification of existing covering 32 subjects of resource utilizations dividing them into Category A which only require approval, exempted for screening procedure or Category B which requires screening necessarily having Category 4 EIA requirement mandatorily. EIA projects are being classified as regional, sectoral, strategic, project level assessment as well as life cycle assessment. EIA projects considerable vital stages of evaluation are screening, evaluates necessity, probable alternatives choice consideration, preliminary assessment, scoping, identifying issues, mitigation measures, EIA reporting, public acknowledgement, reviewing environment impact management, decision undertaking, post decision monitoring. Embodiment design introduced by Prof. Pahal or Prof. Beats having three essential stages namely product architecture, design configuration or parametric design. The designing efforts if considered initially from resource mining, extractional processing, refining valuables, transportation, manufacturing fabrication or distributional energy expenditure measurements, then known to be embodied energy calculations. Life cycle energy actual consumption being comprised of operational energy excluding maintenance expenditure or embodied energy encompassing the total required integrational assembling features of energy consumption for a particular construction including recycling or renovations calculations. Initial embodied energy being the non-renewable energy spent during the procurement of raw materials for the construction process. Recurring embodied energy happens to be non-renewable energy conceived for renovational maintenance or replacement throughout the constructional feature lifespan. The resource depletion, environmental degradation, GHG constraints, biodiversity regulations are covered while calculating the embodied energy evaluating as mega or gigajoules per unit weight, area.